Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Uh, taking a look now at the need for affordable housing in our communities. Uh, please welcome Steve Pontel. He's with Community Renaissance, or CORE. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. What Leslie. is CORE? Uh, National CORE is a nonprofit affordable housing developer. So our job is to provide housing for various populations that have specific needs from homeless veterans to foster kids transitioning out to seniors, the entire population. What is the need for affordable housing, especially in California? Sure. Well, California, I would argue the, the single largest crisis facing California is a lack of housing for the people that live here today. Statewide, it's estimated we're a million and a half housing units short for the people that live here today, causing people to have to live in very overcrowded circumstances, multiple families and apartments, illegal garages. And we as a state, we as a society, we as a community have a responsibility to make sure people have adequate shelter. How does this lack of what you call affordable uh, and access mm -hmm. to housing, how does it affect the communities and the way all of us live? Sure. Two big things. One is by definition, if people are living in overcrowded circumstances, the impact on their neighborhood is very dramatic. Because if you design the neighborhood for population X and you put two X in the neighborhood, roads, water, sewer, police, fire, parks, schools, all deteriorate faster than they were designed for. So in the long run, by not having adequate housing and the population design, we're destroying all of our neighborhoods. And it's every community throughout Southern California right now is experiencing overcrowding. The other side of the equation is by having a shortage of supply, everybody that owns a home, their price is artificially high. So that further exacerbates the affordability problem. So the people that have the biggest interest in keeping the supply short, people that already own homes, because they're experiencing the economic benefit of that, but in reality, we're destroying our communities. Now, when you're taking a look at uh, making homes available, are you talking about for purchase or for rent, or just accessibility at all? Either, both. Okay. And I mean, the ultimate goal is at some point, we have to get to the point where the market can produce homes that the market can afford. We know how much money people make. We know how much housing and, and or renting an apartment costs. We have to get that in line without subsidy is the only way that we're gonna make our communities work. Okay, so part of finding a solution is stating the problem. And now that you have uh, defined the issue, what do you think needs to be done to find a, a remedy? Sure, and I, I think it falls into a couple of categories. There will always be a population that requires some form of subsidy. People that have challenges, disabilities, you know, life stage challenges. But for the vast majority of the population, what our communities have the opportunity is to take a step back and think, how do we allow development to occur that people can actually afford? What are the policies? What are the densities? What are the design requirements? What are the fees? What's the time for approval? And if our cities can begin to think about, we need to make sure that we're allowing the market to produce housing, that the people that work in our communities, that our own children, Orange County, one of the biggest challenges in Orange County is most of the children that grow up cannot afford to live in the communities they grew up in. And so it's up to our cities to begin to think about how can we use new innovative technologies? What can we do with shipping containers? What can we do to create housing of various types and various ways that people can afford today based on the incomes they earn. Seems like you have a lot of conflicting interests and that would keep this from moving forward. You know, developers and the, the value of land and the not in my backyard sort of situation and just really the build out that has already happened in a lot of communities. Sure, the, the challenge we have is everything that you just said, in addition to that, the fiscal structure of local government is dependent on retail. So for a city, a win is a retail development. They don't view housing as a win. So cities are always going to be incented to try and promote retail. But in reality, especially with the changing nature of the economy and the changing nature of retail, we have enormous amounts of underutilized land, shopping centers that are no longer, you know, they end up being class C, D shopping center, excess parking throughout our communities. There are lots of opportunities to inject housing that can be affordable into our existing communities. Steve Pontel, taking a look at uh, the future thank you of very much. Uh, affordable housing. Thank you so much for yeah. being here. And thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.